A lot of people have trouble with text wrap, so I'm going to show you my method of doing a text wrap in hopes that it'll make it easier for you. I think what happens is a lot of people will put a raster image or a Photoshop image into Illustrator, and they'll cl simply click on that and make a text wrap, and it's just going to wrap around the square. Instead, what you want to do, and this is the method that I've used for years, is to draw a vector path around the duck. So the duck, by the way, uh, is behind the text, and the text is in the foreground. So I'm just going to draw this shape, and you notice the shape that I'm drawing has no stroke or no fill. And I want to be sure it's a closed path to finish it up there. I'm going to select that path and the text. Now I'm going to go underneath object to text wrap to make. You'll get the warning dialog. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll see the wrap will now wrap around the contour. I can select the text wrap object and I'll switch views to outline so you can see that. And the picture of the duck and we can sort of move it around the text. And I'll go back to preview and you can see how this works. Now I can select the direct selection tool and pick an individual point and I can modify the way the text wraps. So maybe I want the text to be a little further away from where the eyes are on the duck uh, or I want it a little closer. I can do that as well. And you can still modify the text wrap using the commands that you read in the book under text wrap. You can say text wrap options and that can say set it further away, for instance, from that path that we just drew. Click OK and you'll notice that it's a little bit further away. Um, move different areas of it and you have an effective text contour wrap. 